So I may have a lead on a job, something teaching related, which would be great. Not that I have any problem waiting tables, but. Wow. The job really is 24 seven, isn't it? Even when you're off duty, you're not off duty. Uh, where's this coming from? So I went to. Lulu was very candid about what it was like to. To put up with a cop? No, to love one. I felt awkward discussing this with her considering what's happened with her and Dante. But she wanted to talk about it. She was illuminating, I take it. What'd you learn? Nothing I didn't know already. Loving someone who puts their life on the line, it can be difficult. Sometimes it's terrifying. Like when you texted me to say you were at the hospital and I rushed over there thinking that you have been hurt in the line of duty. I had this sudden surge of terror that I might lose you. Did it scare you off? Is my job gonna be too much for you? I'm right here, aren't I? Lulu said that Dante and his old partner, Nathan, were two of a kind. They both felt this strong need to help make the world a better place. I'm, she said she recognized that about you, too. I'm honored to be put in the same category as those guys. And I guess that's why I relate to you so well. Because I get it. You know, it's why I became a teacher. Not that <laughs> wrangling third graders compares to putting your life on the line every day. I'd rather do what I do than do what you do. You have to be seriously brave to face down a room full of eight-year-olds. Sometimes. Teachers are my heroes, you know. One in particular inspired me to make a difference in the world by becoming a cop. Really? Who was it? My dad. I think I my dad, he loved to teach, and he was good at it. I saw how he made his students come alive and want to learn. He knew how to make people believe in themselves, how to inspire them to actually want to make a difference. He instilled that in both Finn and me. Finn chose medicine and I chose law enforcement. It was our way of, it was our way of making a difference. The problem is, the problem is you can't always turn it off when it's inconvenient. I'm beginning to understand that. You know what? I'm gonna fight you. You call me Frank or one more time, you might not have a choice. Hey, I'll be right back. Hey, is everything okay over here? Yeah, everything's fine. No one's talking to you. Whoa, Franco, you gotta chill out, okay, buddy? Yeah. Just, just settle down. Hey, go. Just, you all right? Stay there, I'm good. You just assaulted a police officer. How was I supposed to know that? You don't have a uniform. Do yourself a favor and shut Why up. Why don't you do me a favor and let go of me? I'll take it from here. Take what? Franco what? Baldwin, you have the right to remain kidding. silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you free of charge. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? Same.